Amy, you okay up there? Shit. It's locked. There's gotta be another way to get through here. Will's workshop as soon as I saw the old billboard on top. The area we refer to as Ground Zero. It was clear that the workshop was at the center of the Monarch operation. I wanted to see what was in there. And it seemed to be the only way to the fire. No, 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 no! We knew the fracture would occur. Prepared for it. Oh shit. And he never tried to stop it.
Will never told you what he did in that workshop? At Ground Zero? No, never. He hid that part of his life from me. Nothing prepared me for the weirdness that was waiting there. And even that was just a prelude to the bad stuff that would follow in that same place later. What the hell? What is this? What is this? That already happened. What the fuck? <clears throat> I specifically requested copper clad niobium. Well. There's no words to describe it. Will was gone, but <sighs> he was all around me. This entire secret life he'd never talked about, everything he tried to protect me from, it surrounded me. A puzzle, trapped in broken time. We all thought he wasted his research grant, his career, obsessing over some failed experiment. That's what he led us to believe. What he built there, it never failed. It works. It works. Need my grant extended another year. Please, Please don't do this. Don't do this. I hope to God this works. Will. It's gone. Paul, come with me. We can survive this. You're the only other one who's seen what I've seen. I don't. Give me the advice. I knew something went horribly wrong there, but it was scrambled. It's impossible to crack. It was overwhelming. Every unanswered question I had was compounded by what I'd seen at that workshop. The events at the university were part of something much bigger. Something that had started 17 years ago. Okay, dry dock. Get to the dry dock, I'm almost there. Gotta get to Paul. <laughs> 